Okay, so once we have the locking mechanism in place, we can push it back, and when you push it back, you, you could have heard that the lock hits the first section. So in order to bypass that, just take your screwdriver, and again, the black plastic tab that's holding the cable in place, you just want to give it a good push back, and then this arm, the, black, the plastic arm that's up, will come forward, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I pushed it in, and now the black arm that was up here is now down here, which pulls the lock down. And now we're able to continue pushing in. Here, the screwdriver will be able to push the lock right through and into the first section. Just like that. Just push it in, the arm comes down. And now the track, the first part of the track is on. Again, make sure that this side, this slide is moved all the way forward by either pulling on this or just pushing this, pulling, uh, pushing it with your hand. So now that it's in, we can continue. With the rest of it, just I'm gonna get this black tab down. And then we're going to push on that metal piece there, as I explained on the other side. Now, I'm going to hold on, because I need... Now it's, now it's in the track. Now we can slide it back. Just like that. And now we're done. As you can see on this side. They're both back on track. The JB Weld, uh, again, it's been about uh, two, two and a half hours since I last, since I first applied it. And now what we need to do is get the, uh, get the locks in place, the front locks. And again, it's, since they're already hanging, just want to slide it up. And just put it in place now. You may have this screw that's blocking it. Just gotta push it in a little bit with your thumb so that it can sit in place. And there, the locking mechanism is back in place. Now we can replace the one, two, three, four screws and then tighten this screw in. Okay. Okay. So I've got the locking mechanisms, uh, the front locks, back in place, they're all screwed in, ready to go. One thing is uh, putting this screw in, you're going to want to have this uh, bottom latch uh, open. So you want to just make sure that your uh, sunroof top uh, locking mechanism is clear so that you can slide this piece back to open that up to get access to this. Now the value of having putting everything in order on both sides i know that the next piece uh, that i have to put in place is here and then the screws for the top cross bar a uh, top cross beam that connects the two me locking mechanisms so we're going to get this get these two screws and this piece back on so we have our next piece which is just the plastic cover which connects from the outside just like that and then we take the there are two screws, a short stubby and a, and a long thin one. The short stubby goes in the front. And then the short one goes in the middle rail right here. So get that done on both sides. And then the next thing we'll do is that metal cross member for the locking, for the locking mechanism. Okay, so we have the pieces in place. The next piece is a cross member. Now it's very important to make sure that both locks are aligned um, properly. Otherwise, if you try and put it on and one's further forward than the other, then it's it's going to be a, a lot more difficult than it needs to be putting it back on. The easiest way of doing that is just pull the locking mechanisms forward right to the point where 
the front lock, the, the front um, rail piece that we screwed back on where it meets the frame, just bring the uh, plastic piece back here right to the line and do the same thing on that side. So that way you know at least it'll be as close to uh, close to aligned as possible. Now we're going to go back here where we left this piece, which is nice and hot since it's been sitting in the sun. So from the back, it slides forward onto the locking mechanism. So we just slide it forward and slide it forward until we see the piece there from the locking mechanism and then we can just hold it with our hand. Now we want to get those two screws back on this side and the two screws on that side. And then next step will be to put the uh, canvas top back on. Okay, so with the cross brace back on and in place, screw down properly. Next thing to do is take the canvas top, throw that forward, give it a little bit of slack. Now these black tabs, you want to put back into all of these slots here. Um, very easy to do, but you want to make sure that this side piece also slides under here. Uh, the edge of this, uh, the metal cross beam. And then once that's done, we can take our metal cable and wire it through the, uh, the latch here. And once that's done, we'll go back inside. Uh, we'll leave this off for now. But once that's done, we can close the top, um, put the motor back in, and then give it, a, give it a shot. So go ahead and do that, and I'll see you when we're ready to turn this on. So now that we have the canvas top back on place, the retaining um, wire thing is properly put in, in its place. The next thing is we're going to close the convertible top. Now what I went ahead and did was open the latches so that they'll align and fit properly into the guides. So what we're going to do is pull the top down a little bit now at this point. You can see this is the locking mechanism that we're going to have to use our screwdriver with. So, and it just went down. So, making sure that your guides are close to the holes. We're going to get the screw in here, screwdriver in here, and we're going to get above that lock. Just like so, and then pull it down, and now it's locked. And we're good on this side, and we should be good on that side. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same for the opposite side. Now before we get the motor back in place, we want to make sure that the sunroof portion and the locking mechanisms are all the way in the forward position, and everything is locked. Uh, that way, when we put the motor back in, in the mount, um, we know that everything's good to go to test it, uh, to pull it back. So, let's go ahead and we're just going to close this by hand. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm just going to close it by hand until everything locks. And I'm just going to get up, put our hand on top of this cross member, just push until the locks close. Everything is in the closed position. Two hands for that. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Okay, so now we're going to put the motor back in place and then test the sunroof function. Okay, so we got the motor back in place. We're going to attach the power. Done. Now, very important, let's go back into the trunk and we want to we want to put this little brass screw, we want to 
put that uh, turn that clockwise one and a half times and close these latches for the for the back portion otherwise you're going to be pressing the button and you're going to be like this didn't work like I did the first time so taking our trusty screwdriver let's go back here switch hands so I can show this okay so we're going to turn it one half one one and a half done and then once that's done we got to make sure that our this piece is on as well I learned that the hard way here hold on I'm gonna go put it on and then I'll meet you in the car okay so we just put everything in place and now time to test whoops oh great my battery's dead fantastic okay it looks like I'm gonna have to use my truck to okay so uh, we got the car started um, and we're ready to test it now we're only gonna go a little bit because I do want the JB weld to cure for at least uh, another uh, 12 to 14 hours but here we go and as you can see nice smooth operation both sides open and as far as closing and we can tell that we're good here of course and another successful installation now again we're gonna let we're gonna we just have to finish up by putting on uh, the finishing trim and this piece back on um, but we're pretty much done here